C'est à vous, Madeleine. Monsieur Miller, euh, au sujet de la mort de Joyce Echaquan, euh, c'est un vidéo qui a ou c'est une vidéo qui a suscité toute une vague d'indignation. Est-ce euh, que ça vous fait craindre que derrière des Derrière le fait qu'il y a maintenant une vidéo, il y en a eu d'autres dans le passé, il y a peut-être d'autres cas qui surviennent, mais qui ne sont pas filmés et qui existent quand même. Est-ce que ça vous fait craindre que c'est finalement un cas parmi d'autres qui ne sont pas rapportés? Bien, écoutez, d'abord, mes condoléances à la famille, avant tout de, de Mme Chakwan, qui est morte dans des conditions exécrables. Euh, le meilleur des scénarios, c'est qu'elle est morte dans les mains d'une personne qui là, lui a tenu des propos racistes. Euh, C'est clair que la discrimination contre les, les Autochtones dans le système de santé existe. Ce n'est pas, euh, pas le premier événement qui a été noté, notamment en Colombie-Britannique, des préposés qui, euh, qui tenaient des gages sur le taux d'alcoolémie euh, des personnes qui se présentaient euh, aux urgences. Euh, J'ai pu parler au grand chef euh, euh, aujourd'hui à Wachish, constant à Wachish, euh, pour lui parler du deuil dans sa communauté, puis il, a fait, euh, il y a un effet d'entraînement, évidemment, en, en, en regardant un, 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 un vidéo qui rapporte des, des propos disgracieux. Euh, C'est un outrage à une personne dans une condition vulnérable. Écoutez, le racisme est intolérable, euh, inacceptable dans, dans, dans toutes les circonstances, mais quand une personne est dans sa, sa condition des plus vulnérables, euh, ça, ça nous dégoûte à un niveau euh, que je ne peux pas décrire. Euh, et puis, on sait que le, groupe, le, groupe socio le gouffre socio-économique qui existe entre les peuples autochtones et non-autochtones, il y a 50 de ce gouffre qui est dû euh, à des problèmes, euh, à des enjeux de santé socio-économique. Et là, on se demande pourquoi les Autochtones ne se présentent pas. Euh, quand ils ont la capacité de se présenter et de manifester, de, de vouloir avoir des services de santé qu'ils devraient avoir de première classe. Pourquoi ils ne veulent pas? Euh, on se demande pourquoi il y a un, un taux moindre de, 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 de vaccination de la, grippe, de la grippe saisonnière. Puis là, on sait pourquoi, parce qu'il y, euh, y a du racisme systémique qui existe à travers le Canada, contre lequel tous les paliers de gouvernement se doivent de lutter. Euh, puis là, pour, 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 euh, pour Joyce, ça, c'est... C'était le scénario le plus optimiste de ce qui s'est passé. Euh, le scénario le plus pessimiste de ce qui s'est passé euh, rentre dans le niveau de la, de la criminalité. Et donc, euh, c'est pour ça que hier, évidemment, j'ai réagi sur Twitter. C'est plus que mon, mon rôle de ministre de réagir de façon publique de cette façon-là. Encore faut-il que je fasse le travail puis de parler. J'ai parlé à la ministre d'Amour aujourd'hui euh, et au grand chef à, euh, à Wachish. Euh, j'ai laissé un message pour le chef Ottawa de Manawan. Euh, pour lui témoigner de mes condoléances, mais il reste du travail à faire à travers le Canada. Ce n'est euh, pas, pas un incident qui est isolé. Euh, ça, on le sait. Et puis là, euh, au fédéral, on parle de, 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 de racisme systémique, on parle de, de lutter contre les micro-agressions, mais ça, c'était du racisme tout craché. Et en fait, je tiens, puis j'ai l'opportunité de saluer la réaction du gouvernement du Québec euh, de prendre des actions décisives, de s'être prononcé sur l'enjeu, parce que ça, ça prend ce palier de gouvernement, ça prend tous les paliers de gouvernement au Canada de réagir contre ceci, parce qu'on voit, on voit que ça se, ça se répète. Et euh, c'est le pattern auquel on s'attaque. Vous parlez du scénario le plus pessimiste, celui qui euh, relèverait de la criminalité. Est-ce qu'il y a des indices qui vous laissent croire que c'est possible? Ben, regardez la vidéo. Franchement, euh, je ne sais pas les autres conditions qui n'ont qui pas été filmées, puis c'est pour ça qu'on demande une enquête approfondie à ce sujet-là, puis je, je, je prends l'occasion pour saluer la décision de faire cette, cette enquête approfondie, mais encore faut-il avoir une ventilation complète des faits. Merci. Repeat that in English on your reaction to that? Yeah, I'll just try and translate what I, what I just said, and um, I apologize if it's not entirely the same, but um, look, I think... What everyone saw, and I, first I, I want to take the opportunity to express my condolences to uh, the people of Manawan. Um, I was able to speak to Grand Chief Awashish today and leave a message for Chief Ottawa to express my condolences for the family. We're obviously traumatized by seeing um, this, these events and, uh, and, and, and Joyce um, passing in, in, in unacceptable, horrible conditions. And I said the best case scenario is... This person died at the hands uh, of, of, of uh, a racist. Um, and the worst case scenario is much worse and makes you think about criminality. And it's why 
Uh, it's why we need to get a, a full inquest into what happened. I'm happy that uh, the Quebec government acted so swiftly to call out for an inquest and to make sure that that, that happened. Um, but this is not only um, an isolated event. We, we saw recently these events um, in British Columbia where where the personnel at the emergency in, in a hospital in British Columbia were, were betting on the alcohol level of Indigenous people that were coming in, and that's, uh, that's a pattern of racism. And, you know, this government has talked about systemic racism. We've talked about microaggression, but this is um, the worst face uh, of, of racism. And every incident of racism needs to be called out. There's absolutely no question about that. But this is, and I think this is what is gut-wrenching about this, is that this is someone who is in their most vulnerable, and they are dying having heard... Um, racist words expressed towards them. And um, again, um, I, I can only imagine the impact that that can have on Indigenous communities. And it's part of a pattern that's existing. We have to eliminate that pattern. We have to keep fighting against that pattern. Uh, you know, the, 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 the socioeconomic indexes and the, and the gap that exists between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people, 50% of that is attri attributable to, uh, to health drivers. And then you wonder why Indigenous people don't uh, aren't as at ease going to hospitals. This is, um, you know, in the past, there have been horrible accounts of testing uh, and experimenting on Indigenous peoples. Uh, there's a, there's a well-founded skepticism towards the health system. First and foremost, communities want uh, first-class health care, which they are entitled to in, in what we believe and what I believe to be the best country in the world. Uh, but even when those are provided, you see uh, systemic racism and racism racism rearing its ugly head and then people wonder why uh, why there is less uptake for the seasonal flu what's the consequence of that well for if and when we get a vaccination for covid we will have to fight that we will have to say to we'll have to work with community members to say hey this time trust us um, and what reassurance can you give and so that's the challenge that we face presently with a, with a pandemic going on when we try to deploy a solution that we will ask canadians to take up to keep themselves safe um, we have to t tackle issues like this. So this is not a theoretical issue. It exists across Canada. This was more than more, this is an example of systemic racism, but outward racism uh, when someone is at their most vulnerable. So I think that's why Canadians and, and Quebecers are reacting with um, such such visceral visceral rage today. We have time for one question with one follow up on the phone. Operator, do we have a question? Please press star one. S'il vous plaît, appuyez sur étoile un. No question at this time. We have a question. And is there one more question in the room? No? Thank you. Madam Bennett, I would ask you the same question. How do you react to the death of uh, Joyce Echequan, please? It, it's, um, it's, it's heart wrenching, gut wrenching. It is, uh, it, it's unfortunately, um, as Mr. Miller said, it's, it's what we're hearing. I, <laughs> Um, ever since April, every Thursday night, I have a call with uh, a group of Indigenous physicians. Um, uh, Thursday night, 8.30 to 10. Um, and every week, we are hearing stories like this about why why their patients don't want to go to hospital, why they they are are um, wanting to to, to find. Uh, culturally safe and Indigenous practitioners who will understand them and where they won't be faced with this kind of racism. I have a friend um, in the downtown east side in Vancouver who was called a drunken Indian by a nurse. Um, she had just had a massive epileptic seizure and, and wasn't able to walk because that's what happens after you've had a seizure. Um, I, 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 it, it is in all of our institutions. Uh, but it's got to stop, and there have to be consequences. In 2000, the WHO uh, report on violence talked about verbal abuse and verbal violence, uh, and that, that that is violence, and that we actually have to deal with with some of these in other incidences um, that... that it's one thing to punch somebody in the face. It's another thing to make them feel like they've been punched in the gut. And and that's why it's violence. And that's why it has to stop. This situation um, in in uh, Juliet uh, will require uh, an, an inquest, a proper investigation. And uh, and I our, our feelings 
and our hearts are with the families and and all of the people that watched that and thought that it could be them. It's this is um this is this is a time when the country needs to come together and unfortunately the systemic racism has been uncovered um and people um i think have to decide they're either going to be part of the solutions or they're part of the problem that if you can't utter the word systemic racism um then then you're probably part of the problem and and i think that that's that's what we're now confronted with uh um coast to coast to coast and uh and uh um this is this, this is a, t- a, t- a terrible week for Canada. I will check now if there is any question on the phone. There are no questions on the phone at this time. Is there any questions more in the room? No. Thank you.